and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Leanne, mother of two daughters who are currently four and almost one. Cry a little bit every time I say that. Don't know where this year's gone. I post semi-regular videos, I do regular vlogs and random bits like this. We've recently had our bathroom redone, so yesterday we popped down to Ikea just to get some storage and obviously we were in Ikea so a few other random bits, so I thought I would just show you those today. We're going for like a, like the accessories, like a natural wooden theme with some copper touches, there's a bit of everything. Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> but yeah, like lots of natural wooden things and plants. So I placed, we call these a bath bridge. I don't know if I'm on my own. Anybody else call it a bath bridge? Let me know. Yeah, so we've got a natural wooden one of those to replace our white one. These are storage. They just clip onto the, the pole, pole on the shower. So hopefully they'll just blend in with the shower. So there was a few different options, but I like these ones so that soap and stuff can just drip down. Not bathroom related, I'm trying to cut down on plastic. And quite often when heating things up in the microwave, I'll cover it with cling film and poke holes in it. So I've got this instead as an alternative to using cling film. So yeah, that's quite handy. Don't know where I'm going to keep it because we have a tiny kitchen, but I suppose I could just keep it in the microwave. We've got this to replace our bathroom mat. Just got this to stand on when we get out of the bath. We've got a freestanding bath, well, semi freestanding. It's like tucked into the corner, but it's on feet. Anyway, um, so this can just slot under there when it's not in use and then be easily pulled back out when we need it. Cereal dispenser. I want to get a couple of these, but I wasn't sure what the size would be like in my cupboard. So we've just bought one for now and we got it back home and it's about that much too tall but I might get more and just put them on this side. A plant and a plant pot. I say to Spencer like years and years ago it used to be the thing didn't it, that you'd go to Ikea like you, you haven't been to Ikea if you haven't come home with a massive bag of tea lights that was always the thing but now I for me personally that the Ikea thing is I haven't been to Ikea if I don't come home with a, a fake plant Every time I go to Ikea, I get at least, at least one fake plant. Talking of which... And these are like the ultimate Ikea fake plant, these aren't they? So I get two of these. These are going to go... Belly baskets, they're another, another like Ikea thing at the moment as well, aren't they? Oh, we suddenly got really bright. The weather outside is like stormy, rainy, so it's just going black and then grey and then white so yeah my camera's like Whoa. yeah uh belly basket we bought as well so the plan is to put these in the belly basket and just have that on the floor all drapey and nice uh squeegee just for the shower screen these two bags this is going back to the cutting down on single use plastic so i bought these i quite often go to the green grocers or even when I'm just shopping in the supermarket so that I can pop my fruit and veg in what's going on here <laughs> there's a tag on it still <laughs> I thought that one was a bit mad then so I could just pop my fruit and veg straight into these instead of getting plastic bag toilet roll holder and soap on a rope I thought I'd give that a go it is wrapped in plastic which is a bit annoying but give it a go see what it's all about Sounds nice as like pure traditional Swedish soap based on coconut and rapeseed oil, free from palm oil. So yeah, give it a go. I also bought a mirrored bathroom cabinet. Um, I'm not going to, it's in a box, it needs to be built. As mentioned at the start of the video, Carrie is almost one. So I picked her up, this little set of wooden building blocks. I love it, it's in this little, this little wooden tray on wheels so I really like that so yeah I thought that was quite nice so that's for her first birthday and then we bought two of these just storage cubes different size cubes to sit in our vanity drawers hopefully they'll uh you're not gonna focus here there we go hopefully they'll uh, lend to more organized drawers than everything just being thrown in so yeah we've just got two sets of those and that is everything
thing. So yeah, I'm gonna whip up into the bathroom now, put a few bits up there and I'll just show you what they look like in place. I'm not doing the cabinet on my own because we need to paint a wall first and I don't do drilling. So yeah, that can wait. So I popped a few things in. It's still, I haven't organized anything properly yet because we haven't got, um, we don't have handles for the drawers on the vanity yet. I'm waiting for them to come from eBay. Um, so we can't really, it's just a pain to get in and out of the drawers. So I haven't gone into organizing everything properly. Just chucked a few bits out of the way, but I'll show you the bits now and where they are and how they look. So for now, again, I might change my mind. This is what I've gone with in the drawers. So I've got, I'm probably gonna end up just ditching these lids because they don't need to be on them and they're just a pain. So I've got tough paste in there. I kind of ridiculous amount of tough brushes because people can keep giving Aria tough brushes. Then my makeup remover pads, my oil, some bobbles, clips, and a tweezers. Don't know what's going to go in there. Possibly my reusable sanitary pads. Don't know what's going to go in them. Um, but yeah, we need to put like cleansers and whatnot in here as well so they can probably just go in there. Then the bottom drawers <laughs> at the moment, there's one toilet roll, some kitchen roll and a measuring tape. The pencil can go in there too because, yeah, like I said, it's, it is still a working site, hence the screws in there too. And then that's just my wash, my wet bag for my pads. So that's that for now. Rubbish, need to pick that up. There's the bath thing. It's actually worked out perfectly. It's just about fits in between the legs. So again, we can just push that under and put it out when we need it. There's the little basket. I really like how that looks. Just something to, we couldn't really put anything like storage wise or anything there because obviously it could only come up to the bath and the door would hit into it when it opened. So yeah, it's just something. And there's the things upon the shower. We've got far too many products. So I really need to whittle down on things, but yeah, that's those for now. And there's the bridge. That plant is going to go up on the cabinet, I think, which will go there with a hanging plant coming down the side. But I actually quite like it there as well, so we'll see. I just realised there's a sticker on there. So yeah, so far so good. The one I mentioned about the natural woodlet, there's like bits going around the bathroom and the window. So yeah, it just ties that all in nicely, I think. The bathroom cabinet has gone up now, so it's just a basic mirrored cabinet. There's some shelves in. That was £30, I think. I'll uh, put the prices over anyway. That's everything. They've got some really nice bits in there at the moment, so we were really pleased with what we came out with yesterday. I think all of this came to 150 quid, which hurt a bit, but yeah. It's all good stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs>